Hey guys, so today, today my to-do list is to get orders out, create some coconut oat soap, and for my, oh, and I also have to make bath bombs. So that is my to-do list as far as business-wise. For my personal self, I'm going to be sipping on some green tea because your girl got some information on some green tea. Um, my checklist for an item, an area that I'm going to clean today is going to be my bathroom. And I'm going to tackle my bathroom shower. And I'm going to be listening to the podcast Inside the Vault with Ash Cash with helping me to create that abundance mindset. So that is my today and let's get into it. Okay, so the orders that I have to drop off to UPS, I'm about to drop you off. Hey guys, so we're about to create our bath bombs, but it's too humid in our room. So I have a reader that reads the humidity in the room. You might hear my dehumidifier in the back. I have to get some of the moisture out of the room if I want my bath bombs to be successful. So I'm going to go ahead and start drinking on my green tea and I am going to start answering or responding or checking all three um, our emails. So that's what I'm going to do as I'm waiting for this number to um, lower. So let's go ahead. Okay, so our day is going well. I am now about to make the bath bombs. So let me tell you one of the tricks that I use to make my bath bombs. We also make lotion and in the package of the lotion, these little inserts are in the bottom of the box to hold the bottles. I will be using these to help me with my bath bombs or to hold my bath bombs while they're drying. Some people get bath bomb, um, bath bomb holder trays from Bath Bomb Press. And my small big business <laughs> eventually will upgrade. But these work. So what I'm going to do is just line it with cling wrap like this here. And it's going to prevent the little indentation that sometimes is on the bottom of the bath bomb switch. People really don't mind that. That's more of an aesthetic thing, but I do like the round look. So that's what I'm gonna be using to hold while my bath bombs are drying. But that's what we're going to get into right now. Let me tell you some of the things that I use that is key during making the bath bombs and I'll tell you why. Whenever I'm dealing with bath and body products, my, my customers' products, I always wear gloves. I use my 3M mask. Um, I just got this one out the box because my other one, it was time to retire it. But some of the ingredients are fine particles that you can inhale. So I don't want to do that, especially with me making bath bombs all the time. So I'm going to be using this. You're going to need a towel to clean up your mess. <laughs> I'm going to use a hair bonnet because I don't want any loose hairs falling into my customer's products. And I'm also... I'm going to wear an apron. Other than that, that is it. Let's go ahead and get dressed and let's go ahead and get started on these bath bombs. This is how we looking. This is how we looking. Everything has already been measured out. Everything has already been sifted. I'm going to start with my baking soda first. I don't need my mask at this point, if you, but when I start to add my SLSA, that is most definitely when it's time to cover all of this. I 
forgot to mention, we are making bath bombs that are tri-color um, with a little bit of biodegradable glitter. So I'm not gonna add my micas until a little bit later. Um, we have our scent and everything that is going to be, that needs to be in the entire bath bomb in here already. So we're going to continue to make sure that it's perfectly um, combined and then we're going to section them out. So we're going to start off with mixing our lighter color first, which is going to be, we're going to be using Firefly by Nurture Soap. So we're going to use that first. Then we're going to follow it up with Mango Tango. We're going to use that for our orange. And then we're going to, last but not least, Queen for a day. <laughs> We have our spoon to help release, and we have our bath bomb hose. So, I'm gonna now take off my mask, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So, we'll and place them on our makeshift tray to dry. <laughs> now for the fun part. <laughs> Man, so my battery had died. I transferred over to another device. But like I was saying, we have to announce our giveaways for the donut bath bomb um, giveaway that we did this month. So that is also one of my Okay, so I'm now on to my next daily task, which is to make the coconut oat soap. So this soap is not going to be scented. This is my first time doing a coconut soap. Um, from the research that I've gathered, you should start with frozen coconut milk. So that's what we, we want. So now we are officially fully protected. Yeah, you're not going to get me. You're not going to catch me slipping in these streets. Hmm. Um. So now we already have our coconut milk frozen and measured. Already in here. So we're going to measure out the lot. Okay, our lunch has changed. We were gifted lunch today. So we're having um, noodles. Let me show you. So this is what we're going to have. It's from Jinya. Spicy noodles. Oh, and so that you know, they, they are vegan. So I'm gonna take a break. I'm going to eat this spicy vegan noodles, activate um, a new Shopify, Shopify debit card, 
and watch something on YouTube. I kind of forgot to record the giveaway, but we took a pause for the calls to do the bath, um, the donut bath bomb giveaway. So I don't know if you guys were able to see the post when we um, posted about the giveaway on our Instagram, but it's for the strawberry watermelon lemonade um, bath bomb, wildflower donut bath bomb, as well as cotton candy cotton candy <laughs> donut bath bomb. So we we chose um, two winners and we used the, the wheel, so in all fairness, to select the winner. And they'll be going out tomorrow if they follow every rule. So other than that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, I will be adding colloidal oats to the batter and I'm going to section this batter off into two sections. One, I'm going to be adding cocoa powder to the mix. Cocoa powder is so wonderful to the skin, but I'm not making any claims because the only thing soap is supposed to do is cleanse. This is going to not only cleanse, but give you a wonderful creamy lather because it's a coconut milk. I did not record the pour, and that's because my whole life changed once my grandson had came to the house. And you're going to hear him in on the clip talking about what he's going to do to his uncle because both of them had recently had birthdays. But other than that, I'll see you all on the next video. So here is our soap. We have to put it in the refrigerator because the, the sugars in the coconut oil, well, coconut oil, coconut milk. I got a fight, baby. You got a fight? Yep. You want to ask those I'm here for you want to go to the park? I want to go get him a bite. Are you going to go do that? Yeah. You going to go with me? You think I'm going to bite? Or no? Yeah, I Okay. Yeah. Thank you.